If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any uploads. Okay, let's start. So, of course, first we need to prep and I do that with a removing and my makeup oh, with a, a makeup a wipe. Of course, I need to apply a my wake up and I need to pop in a my lenses and I do that off camera. So, here we have it. Clean skin, lenses in, we cap on, and I already primed my face. And now we're going to start with the full coverage of foundation. A few shades lighter than my real skin tone is. And of course, I apply it with a beauty blender all over my face. You get something like this. Then I take my contour stick to do a little bit of contouring. I only contour one side of my face because on the other side is going to be the Tinsley transfer. So blending it. And after I'm done with the blending, I take my setting powder from a Meron and a big fluffy brush. While I'm doing the voiceover, by the way, I am in a plastic hair cap because I just colored my hair again. <laughs> Yay, finally. Bye-bye, Outgrow. Okay. So I'm setting everything with the setting powder. A bit too much setting powder. And then, of course, it's some blush time. And a little bit of a highlighter. And it's time for some brows. I use the micro brow pencil from NYX and I love this little pencil. You can make such fine lines with it. So quickly moving on to the other brow and there here. There are me brows. Then it's time for the Ben Nye Studio Color Essential SFX palette to do the eyes. You only need a little bit of the black. Oops. <laughs> I just apply it on my lash line and then I'm going to blend, blend it out with a fluffy brush to create a black smoky eyes. And I set it with a little bit of a grey eyeshadow. Just blending it till I'm happy with it. So the inspiration of this look came from the Tinsley transfer that I'm going to use in a, in a small moment. So that's not making any sense. Um, and a headpiece that I got from the Chinese web shop. <clears throat> but first I'm going to pop on my lashes and I do that with some prosade and I do that off a camera. So here we have uh, my luscious lashes. That was hard work. <laughs> So now it's time for some face jewels to make it a glamorous. Just pressing it on till it's nice and firm. If it's not holding that well, I use a little bit of prosade, then it will definitely hold. So glam glam. And now it's time for the gore part. I'm using the Tinsley Transfer Boils. So read the instructions on the back before you start. So I opened the box and then I peel off the plastic, which holds the transfer. And then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to stick it on the paper. And then my screen freezes. Just take a break. Okay, of course I need to clean the skin. I do that with a lotion wipe and a alcohol pad so my Tinsley transfer holds even better. And of course I need to take some 
drink because you need to hydrate. Then I cut my Tinsley transfer to the right size. I got something like this. Then I take my a bowl of a water and a sponge. Squeeze it a little bit. When I'm happy where I want to put the transfer, I peel off the back and then I'm going to press it firmly on my face. And then I'm going to use the sponge and dab it on to the transfer until it loosens up. Cute mirror, don't you think? I love this little mirror. <laughs> After a few moments, it'll, it will loosen and then you have a nice boily skin and you let it dry and you will have an awesome party, Halloween party look. So do the same thing over with the other transfer, just peeling it back very carefully around my nose it's such a simple product to use and very effective and then on my chin it's going to be the last piece just pressing it on tempt the paper and there you have a nice boily face to give it a bit of extra drama, I use my Studio Color Essential FX palette by Ben Nye again. I use the red, the yellow, and a little bit of green. And some Titanic brushes. This one is for the detailing. Just a few more redness and yellowish things around the boils. Then I take a stippling brush and use the red to make the skin look very irritated. You can dilute this with some alcohol as well to get a more transparent kind of feel for it. And then you can build up the colors like you do with the alcohol paints. Almost ready. Like that. Okay, it's time for me to get my costume on here you see some more details it's time to get my costume on my wig on and we are done oh no <gasps> lipstick i need a little bit of lipstick for this beautiful creature so now i'll get my costume on thank you so so much for watching and see you next time, same place, different video. Bye!